Hello everyone, welcome back to Tam's Classy Creations, the channel where we break down projects so even a beginner can do it. I'm going to be taking this stencil project from a previous video and we're going to be making it into a pillow. We are going to be installing an invisible zipper. I am going to take the fear out of this invisible zipper with you by breaking this down into a couple easy steps. First, we need to prepare our pillow. I have set the paint with an iron. Next, I have squared this block up to 15 and a half, so it's gonna be a 15 and a half inch square. Now, this is an optional step, but I have applied one and a half inches of a lightweight interfacing. I have used PF44 just to give the pillow where we install the zipper a little more stability. The next step is to prepare the zipper. So here is an invisible zipper, and also we need it to be longer than um, what we're putting it into. So it is over 15 and a half inches. What we are gonna do is iron it flat. Where the teeth stick up here, we need to have it lay flat. So we'll be pressing that to get that to lay flat. Now that the underside of the zipper is flat, we can move on and make some markings on our zipper. We are, this is a 22 inch zipper. Anything longer than a 15 and a half is fine. Now we um, need to subtract two inches. So we're gonna make a few marks um, from the 15 and a half. So we're gonna do 13 and a half. We're gonna make marks on the zipper that are 13 and a half inches apart. Then, I like this little trick. This is the underside of the zipper. On the front side of the zipper, I'm going to put, I've already done it, eighth inch double-sided sticky tape. And that is just, and it's just between the two marks, and it is just so uh, the zipper stays exactly where we stick it. Next, we're gonna put a measurement on the pillow, 13 and a half inches apart. Since we, took the 15 and a half and subtracted two, we're gonna go in one inch on each side. So we're gonna make a mark one inch on each side of the pillow. And this is the place where we are going to attach the zipper. Now we have the 13 and a half inch marks on the zipper. We're gonna lay it face down with the zipper on a pull on the underside. So now we made two marks on the pillow one inch in to equal the 13 and a half inches. We're going to line them up this mark with this mark, this mark with this mark, and I'm going to pull the tape off of here and I'm going to stick that right to the pillow. So the tape, remember, just ran the 13 and a half inches. So this is how we're going to line it up the first side and we're going to stitch back stitching at the mark stitch quarter inch to quarter inch now I'm going to be using a zipper foot and I'll show you the trick it's very smooth so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to do the stitch so I have installed my zipper foot this works perfectly we're going to start with that mark now we're going to see how I have the zipper foot over the teeth and I have this part of the zipper foot running running across uh, along the teeth we're going to sew we're going to back stitch at the just to the mark and then all we're going to do is straight stitch this all the way down to the other end see how keeping that tape on there has just made this so fast and at the other mark here, we're going to back stitch. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, attach the other side. Now we've got the zipper in the one side. Now the zipper is facing up. So we want to lay our 
um, other panel right side down on top of the zipper. And we are gonna be matching, again, those two marks and taking our tape off and sticking it. And then we're gonna sew that. Remember, we're gonna sew both lines. We're gonna back stitch here, quarter inch down, and back stitch here. And I'll meet you back when I have this done. Now I've stitched this side of the zipper in and let's let the magic happen. Let's, this makes your invisible zipper and it makes for a two-sided pillow. So now there is just one more step with the zipper and then we can put the pillow together. Now we're gonna just stitch up the ends to finish off this zipper. We're gonna get the zipper out of the way uh, I usually change my foot and put back on a regular uh, stitching foot. So we're gonna stitch a quarter inch, we're gonna back stitch here, and we're gonna sew right to the dot, just to the mark we made there. And we're gonna back stitch there. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So we're gonna get this zipper out of the way here. We're gonna stitch a quarter inch, stitching here to the mark and back stitch and then I'll meet you back here. So I have these stitches done and the zipper is totally finished. Now what we're gonna do is stitch the quarter inch to, to finish our pillow. Quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch around. Now before we do that, we need to make sure the zipper is open so we can turn it. And one final thing I will do, I will stitch across my zipper back and forth before I cut it off. So I'll stitch both ends. I'll stitch back and forth here and I'll cut it off. It just gives it some added uh, security. And I'll meet you back here and we'll be ready to put a pillow in it. I did a quarter inch seam around the rest of the pillow, the three sides. I turned it and I put a pillow in. So I have a two-sided pillow and I have an invisible zipper. Now, if you really wanted it invisible, you still could do a gray zipper instead of white. I wanted to show a white zipper. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you can create your own pillow with an invisible zipper. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be sure to answer each one. If you thought the video was informative, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release a new video. There are new videos each week. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.